Hello, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Freedom Unite for iOS, where today we are going to be attempting the last epic hunt that we haven't yet attempted. And it's this one right here. So we get to start with a Diablos this time instead of finishing with one. And then we get to go on to things that we haven't fought as often. So I am in here with a full inventory, so we can't take much, and I'm a little disappointed that there's no sonic bombs, because this is all I got. But I think I'm actually going to save most of these for the Nargakuga, because I did bring stuff to make more pit traps this time. So that's the only Sonic I'm going to use against this Blos. Though we will use all of our flashes against it. That is the wrong foot to be next to on a blind Blos. This is the safe foot. This is the foot where you don't get hit by the tail. At least not if you're standing at this rough angle relative to it. And now she's angry. And now she can see again. Turn this way, lady. Nope. Shouldn't have tossed that. We are uh, not doing so hot with these flashes. How did that one not work? Get flashed, lady. Well, so much for flashes. I guess we gotta actually fight her for reals. This isn't a good place to be after a roar, but I guess it's not as bad as it could have been. She could have charged. I think that would have hurt more. Well, she's out of rage. Time. There we go. Are you for reals right now? That is the attack I wanted to see, but apparently I wasn't quite far enough forward on that foot. I do want to see that tail sweep more, though, because it's the safest attack. For me to actually get hits in during. Though that right there is also a decently safe one. That one, not so much. I had more Sonics to use. But I also wish more than one of my flashes worked. I'm pretty sure at least three of them went off in front of her. But I guess this game can be a little picky with flashes? I don't know. That is a nice knockdown, and I will take it. Hmm. 
Ooh, looks like we might be able to get her horns stuck. And this isn't the right time for this. But it ended up okay. Yeah, can we get our horns stuck here? Looks like the answer is... Uh, maybe. Rawr. Uh, for, to get her horn stuck, we probably need to get her to charge at it from at least a little farther away. So, over here, lady. That's some stuck horns. Hmm, straight into a dig, huh? I almost managed to evade that sweep. Yay, we were just close enough. What can we gather here? Oh. Well, I guess I'll use that. to kindly get gone would be nice especially if I didn't have to end up using any more healing before she did because that way we'd get to replace every single mega potion that we use but now we're gonna have to use another That poor cat. Maybe we could try and get her horns stuck a couple more times. Maybe get a sparkly. But that takes time and effort. Why do you always have to dig? Why can't you just do your tail sweeps? Seriously, why? Why? Is it that you just know that I don't want to use my Sonics? Uh oh There's a tail sweep, but I was on the wrong side of you that time. digging. This digging is exactly why I want this Diablos gone. I prefer when monsters stay where I can hit them. And I do believe, yep, we just enraged her. Let's not walk into her path. I much prefer when she doesn't skid to a stop like that. 
Like when she just stops on a dime. It's a lot easier to follow her. See? This is better. Let's me get hits. Okay. Good job, roaring and then digging. You accomplished so much. Do your tail sweeps. That's a roar. Please, tail sweeps. Look, I'm all behind you and whatnot. Well, that was a very lucky enrage. And that also was lucky. Now we've used twice the healing that we'll get back for killing her. Hopefully we don't end up having to use any more on her. Would be nice. Of course, next up we've got the Black Gravios, and that's probably going to eat a good amount of our healing supplies. I really wish that the monster just turning wouldn't flinch me so always. Because... It really cuts down on my ability to just combo, and comboing is where I get a lot of damage. Okay, what was that animation all about, lady? Hey, look, I'm all behind you. Do a tail sweep. That's, that's a roar. What do you have against tail sweeps, huh? Seriously? Another roar? And a dig? Diablos, come on. I need you to work with me here. Oh, well, that's an enrage. Which means a combo for us. And she's dead. Pretty loud wind in here. Doesn't look like... Well, actually, no, those clouds are booking it. So I guess it does look like a windy day. Uh, let's see. Where do I want to try to get there? I feel like this one usually gives bombs. Yep. That's the type of thing I wanted to see. Didn't need a small barrel bomb, though. Another supply large would have been nice. Because being able to just slap some more damage in on the Gravios using bombs is a thing that I would like. Where is it? Gravios? I hear it. Uh, what? Gravios. You're not supposed to be up there. You're seriously flying in? Has anyone told you that you're a Gravios? Please don't laser. 
please just run over here. Just run over here. Nope, we got a laser. Well, so much for those bombs. Here, I was thinking the Gravias would, like, pop up out of the ground in the middle of the arena, which is why I put the bombs there. But no. It flies in from the ridge above. As Gravioses do. I am going to use one of these pit traps on the Gravios. Which means I could have gotten away with using another Sonic Bomb on the Blos. Okay, if it's focusing on the cat, then we can go ahead and make this combination now. Over here, buddy. No, I'm going to need motion from you. Why was that not a Superman dive? It would have been too early anyway, but... Why you gotta be so graviose? Yes, motion. Unfortunately, I was super far away, which doesn't really help my case very much. But at least now we can get some damage in here. I was gonna say let's not get landed on, but apparently it's flapping about, as Gravioses do. Why, there are legends told of Gravioses' flying prowess. This isn't good. Ow. Very ow. Well, as long as it's lasering the cat, we get our health back. Ow. Yeah, this thing's got some pretty high damage output. And it's not even rate or Yes, it is raging. That's right. Monsters in this game don't like to show their rage breath type deal when they're just standing or using an attack. But rather, it's when they're turning. Oh, don't want to be in there for that. And when they're turning is when you can see the breath. Whereas in more modern games, it's always... Okay, not flapping about this time. Keep spinning, buddy. This not a spin. At least the Gravius is going to give us four Mega Potions when we're done with it. I need to actually focus on health right now. Ow. Seriously, that much damage from something that didn't even flinch me. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these just for health right now. 
slightly boost my cap too. Thankfully that flame discharge does next to no damage. Whereas this is going to do significantly more. Still not a huge amount though. Which is quite welcome. Lynch, please. Oh. Time to combine a few more mega potions. That'll do for now. Because this way, if we end up not using any more before the Gravios dies, then we can still get all the carves. But it looks like we're gonna probably end up using at least one before the Gravios dies. Like, if we take even one more attack. Oh, that's got the uh, bat. Don't want that. Okay. Now, if I don't use a Mega Potion, I'm at risk of being killed by a laser. And that's not a risk I want to take. It'd been nice to get a flinch, but looks like we got out just fine. Okay, looks like with the right angling and dodging, we actually can get out before the little flame burst comes out. So maybe we should be using all lasers as damage time. Well, not if we don't already have our hammer charged. Ow. Have fun over there. I'd like to get the chest breaks, but I don't think I've been getting too many hits on actually the chest hit zone. Probably been getting a lot on the legs. Okay, that time we weren't able to get out. What was different? I'm not sure. Maybe it's that when it's enraged, the animation goes faster? That could be it. I honestly haven't been paying quite enough attention. Well, this is gonna suck. Ow. And unfortunately, it's time for more of these. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't let my red health recover. Because if I can, then that's like a Mega Potion's worth right there. sliding into the wall. Okay, I think I know what it is. It's the, the times when I was able to escape is when I was letting go the super pound like as soon as the chest was in range and then if I saw the black stuff, I went out and that's why I was able to get out in time. 
Okay, I guess subsequent pulses go slightly farther. So much for our red health, though. Having fun just walking? but I also kind of need the Gravios to die. It's a little unsafe to eat meat with a Gravios there, but we're making it work. Almost didn't, though. Hopefully we do better against the Narga than the Gravios. We do have more tricks to use against the Narga. So that'll help. Yeah, I got my golf swing before the roar. Ow. Figured I should probably make those. Considering that they're the better choice in non-emergency situations. I would love to see this cat get a para. Let me just go to town on that belly. It'd be nice. Fun. So why does the tail knock me over there, but not other times? It's a very inconsistent tail in terms of when it does and does not flinch. Let's get out of there. Ow. Poor cat. It's not going to get us any paras if it keeps dying that fast. Fetch unto me a paralysis. They did just whiff on that face. And then take a laser in response. Maybe if you went for not the face, cat, you would be able to do better. There is a lot of Gravios that's easier to hit than the face. Ow. Super good at getting lasered. 
And there go my regular potions. Yeah, I sincerely need the Narga to go better than this Gravios. Though I am still allowed two carts. I'd rather not use them here. I mean, they can be helpful for getting heals against the Narga. Like, there are 12 first aid meds waiting for me in the item box. But if I managed to get through the Narga without even needing to use these Mega Potions, that would be great. Ooh. That's a good sign. And there's chest break number one. Fortunately, this Gravios has not wanted to do a lot of spinning with me underneath it. Which is a shame, because that's a great source of damage when you can get it to happen. But no, this one likes doing hip checks and lasers. But it's dead now. So I'm going to use one of these. And then we'll have seven Mega Potions and potentially 12 first aid meds for Narga. As well as one shock trap and two pit traps. So at least in terms of the tricks we can bring to bear, we'll be better off against the Narga. Plus, the Narga is the only one of these three monsters that we're liable to get a paralysis on, so... Or not paralysis, KO. But I guess if we're keeping it still with pit traps and shock traps and KOs, then we're probably also more likely to get a paralysis on it as well, so maybe I didn't misspeak. You can leave now, Gravios. We don't need you here anymore. Please go. Please. Thank you. So is Narga going to spawn up there? No. Why didn't Gravios show up like that, huh? I mean, if it's going to just spawn up on the ridge and then fly in, why have it spawn up on the ridge instead of just flying on down? Hey, Narga, I'm here. Hey, buddy. All right, over here. Oh, that's very good of you. You're so cooperative. I appreciate that in my Nargus. Ow. Dodging at that timing would have actually gotten me safe against a more modern Narga. Missed the timing. That's okay. Put this down right here. Get yelled at. Good job, Narga. And there's a KO for us. So now we just go to town on this face. I think this golf swing, yep, gonna miss. Now we can start building up towards another KO. Man, why do you gotta stay above the ground for that long? And now we've got another pit ready to go. Let's 
probably not smart to use it so soon, because the rage is probably due to end soon. But if we can get it into the pit before the rage ends, then that would be fantastic. But the rage just ended. I should have tossed my Sonic. Dang it. Took the hit and enraged it. That's like the worst possible outcome. I need to not use all of my stamina like that. That's a bad idea. Okay. I was not on the side that was actually doing an attack, but I guess residual hitboxes from the jump are things. I really need to max out my stamina. That's not the side I want you leaping towards. It's out of rage. Go into your stance, I dare you. That is not the thing that I want you doing. Like, ever. That hurts. I don't want it to happen. just ask you to go into your stance and what do you do basically the same thing that you do after going into it just without going into it it's a jerk move narga is it so much to ask for just one knockdown here There is what we want. And there goes the eye. And that was a great place for it to jump to to start Rage. I feel like I was kind of outside that, but whatever. our last bit of healing before we die. Sure, I could use my Max and Ancient Potion, but that would be more than a little wasteful. Not to mention ill-advised, because if we were to then cart again later, it would leave us in a much worse situation. Nice taunt. Keep doing them. Also, don't have your face be just barely far enough away so that my golf swing doesn't hit. I would much rather my golf swing hit. Also, ow.
And there's the cart. Okay, time to get us some supplies, because now we've got room for them. Ten minutes to kill the Narga should be more than enough. Let's go ahead and use this to cut down on time, though. Ooh, a taunt. How very kind of you. Would be nice if I didn't drop down to white sharp, but I'll take it. Cat, if you're going to be bouncing, at least be getting para crocs. Like, we need a para. Also, would have been nice if you didn't flinch me there, cat, because I would have gotten a golf swing. This can go a lot farther in this game than they do in the later ones. a flinch of some sort. Not sure what part we hit, but it was definitely something. That was a nice flinch, because we probably would have taken damage if it wasn't for it. Ow. Interesting how we managed to get it to teleport back to where it started its jump there. Ooh, look at you double back hopping. And somehow not damaging me with that first lunge. How did that happen? I should have been, like, dead to rights for that. But I'll take no damage. No damage is perfectly acceptable, especially when it's shortly followed by a quest clear. Hooray! And that means that we have one shot cleared all but one of the G3 epic hunts. And that one is going to be the quest that we attempt again next. And I feel like we did an okay job on it, and I might have been able to clear it had I remembered to eat before starting it last time. But we'll see how it goes next time. Just gonna smack this face a little. Because what else am I supposed to do right now? Trying to get a KO on a corpse. Wow, that was like almost all Narga parts. Oh, 
All right. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when we try and take on the Tigrex and Rajang again. See you then, friends.